again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of MRN Out Loud. Playoff throwback weekend at Darlington. Got the throwback shirt, the throwback hat, and I'm in world headquarters for the Motor Racing Network. We've got a big show for you this week. Remember back in 2018 when Joey Logano won the title? It was the big three and me. Well, me, Logano, won the title. He's our guest on this week's edition of MRN Out Loud to talk about how this year might seem a little similar to 2018. Back with Joey next. Citywide to countryside. Whatever you drive, wherever you go, Hercules Tires has the value, selection, and industry-leading warranty to get you there, no matter where the road takes you. Go to HerculesTire.com. There, you can find the nearest authorized Hercules retail location to you. Plus, you can use the tire tracker to find out which Hercules tire fits your vehicle the best. That's HerculesTire.com. Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength. Joey Legato joins us now as we get set to go playoff racing in the playoffs based on the strength of wins at Phoenix and Las Vegas. And now... Joey, this long, strange road that we've been on to get here, the playoffs are finally upon us. And a lot of times in other sports, guys talk about momentum. Is momentum a real thing in this sport? And do you feel like you guys have some or you need some? Of course, momentum is real. Momentum is confidence. That's all, that's all it is. When people say that, it's confidence. And because that's how you gain momentum is by winning, is by, you know, successful runs, doing things great looking at the positives, right? And that's, that's kind of how you do it. Um, you know, and I think a lot of times momentum is, is in the uh, control of that individual team. Um, you know, wins obviously help that, but finding success uh, is how you build it. And um, I feel like our teams persevered through, through a lot of stuff, persevered through a lot of stuff. I think we were able to, um, you know, I think of just coming back from the pandemic of, you know, working through, uh, working without practice and trying to figure out how we get things on track where we want to, to where we are now. We've been consistent, uh, running up in the top five again. Uh, wins are around the corner again. I, I feel good about that. I feel like our pit stops are good. Um, and if you want to talk about the ultimate momentum builder, to me, is that we're in a better position we were in than we, than we were when we, in 2018 when we won the championship. So, uh, that to me is the ultimate confidence builder is that we've done it before in a worse spot. That's an interesting point because when you won the championship in 18, all the talk was the big three and then you were that other guy. And then that other guy winds up being the champion. Does it feel a little bit similar to you this year with the way Kevin and, and Denny are running? Turns out I kind of like that spot. <laughs> it, it worked out pretty well. So, uh, I was good with the big three and me comment. I, I thought that was great. And, uh, I, I'm, I'm fine with that going through it the whole time. Uh, we, we don't have to be the one in the limelight. We just got to get through, do our jobs, put ourselves in position to win the big race. Back to the momentum thing. In other sports, you know, baseball players say the ball just seems big. Basketball players say the hoop seems really big. How does confidence manifest itself for a race car driver? Do you do things that you wouldn't ordinarily do, be willing to try things you wouldn't ordinarily? I think you push things a little bit harder and you can, you know, in a way just feel like you're capable of doing it, right? Whether it's big moves on a restart, going three wide um, more often, um, you know, driving the car a little bit harder, getting a little closer to the wall, uh, you know, more aggressive into pit road. Um, it's the same. That's just for the driver, but I think also for the team, you know, you think of just the way they're setting up the car, they're making good decisions one after another and you start to be confident. Same thing for the pit crew, right? Is, is, you start busting out 11 second pit stops, you know, and, and, and the tires are still tight, right? You start to, you know, kind of bow up a little bit, you know, you feel, feel good about that. And, and it seems like that once you get that snowball rolling down the hill, it's hard to stop it. It's really, it takes a while to stop it. So uh, I, I think that to me is what confidence momentum really is. We open up the playoffs at Darlington. Everybody knows how tough that track is if they follow racing at all. The last time we raced there, you had a sixth place finish. So with the notes from that and not having any practice or qualifying again, going back, what things jump out at you that you can take into this opening playoff race? Well, I want to tell you exactly what those are, <laughs> but <laughs> there, there is quite a few things that, um, that we, we've worked on and learned from the last time we were there, right? When you think about the last time we ran at Darlington, that was quite a few races ago. Um, you know, it was really early in the season, although we've packed so many races in 
you know, week after week, we've raced a lot since then and have learned quite a bit about the 550 stuff and what we want. So um, we'll make some changes to it. We, you can't get too far off of what you know works because you don't have practice. So you can't get too risky. And it's kind of like that. I mean, the whole season's been like that where like we want to try this, but eh, I don't know if it doesn't work. We're really stuck with it, you know? And, and, and those are the conversations that we'll have and continue to have. But uh, I think there's some things we feel confident enough in to throw into the car and, and try to uh, improve on a, on a sixth place run. Let's, uh, let's finish up with something near and dear to your heart. You're a two-time dad now, one-time champion, two-time dad. How's the mix been going since, uh, since you added, uh, added to the, the family tree, so to speak? I've seen you running around with Hudson and making some laps and trying to show him some racing things, but how has it been this time through versus the first time? Not that you're done yet, but you know what I'm getting at. You think this pandemic changed people's lives? <laughs> Have two kids. That changes your life. Holy moly. <laughs> even more so. Uh, I thought one kid changed my life a lot too, is uh, even, even more. But um, it, it's been a lot of fun. It's been very hard, uh, but, but very rewarding. And, and uh, Jameson's been a, actually a really easy baby, all things to He wakes up a couple times a night, but he's pretty calm and doesn't really cry a whole bunch. And I don't know if that's because the parents are less – stressed and nervous <laughs> or, i was gonna ask if it was your experience or he's just better <laughs> i'm not really sure i'm not really sure but um it's going smooth hudson absolutely loves him he thinks he's the coolest thing in the world so that's gone really smooth he didn't seem to be jealous or anything yet so uh, i'm saying yet because i'm a little nervous about it but uh um it's gone really good um it, it's harder to go do things is what we've realized with the baby and we got used to it with hudson now he's two and a half years old you can kind of take him anywhere where you go and and, you know, he eats the same time you eat. The nap schedule is fairly simple and things like that. But as anyone knows, that the newborns are a little more finicky. You know? <laughs> there's, a, there's a schedule. And you, if you want to sleep at night, you better stick to that schedule. Schedules are very important no matter what walk of life you're in. Well, Joey, I appreciate your time. Good luck in the playoffs. All right. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Sir, are you aware you were going 40 miles an hour? This is a residential area. Sure, but I'm on my lawnmower. Wait, am I getting a ticket? No, I've just never seen anyone top nine miles an hour on one of those bad boys. And mow their entire lawn in 30 seconds? What got into you? Well, it did fuel up at Sunoco this morning. At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. We've been doing it for American Racing for over 50 years. Fuel your best. That's all the time we've got on this edition of MRN Out Loud. We want to thank Joey Logano and make sure that you're with us all weekend long at the Motor Racing Network. Full schedule is at MRN.com. You can keep up with everything happening, times, all that stuff is right there on our website. And we'll see you right back here next week for another edition of MRN Out Loud. Advanced.